it's an expedition exploit. Dude, I need to come up with a song. Hey guys, today I wanted to talk to you about the Fat Loss Fast Track, how it went, and do a comprehensive review of the full 12 weeks. I kid you not, this was probably one of the most amazing programs I have ever participated in, but oh my goodness, it was so intense. Lots of emotions, lots of stress, constant like up in your head kind of stuff. The first probably six weeks, I was like hardcore on it. Like the minute I got up, I was watching the webinars. The last six weeks, I was less focused on it. I was going through um, getting ready to get promoted and a lot of personal issues, illness and stuff. So I was less focused on it, but it was still always like right here. The way it worked is you, on Sunday mornings, you would get a webinar and that was the item that you were gonna focus on for the week and you would listen to the webinar. It was usually somewhere between a half an hour and an hour, depending on the week. Averaged about 45 minutes. So it was super motivating and really like pumped you up to think about that week's task. And some of the week's tasks were easier than others. Some weeks they would be directly about, you know, health and weight loss and reaching your goals. And other weeks it was more difficult to see the connection between weight loss and goals but it always had a direct impact on weight loss. Every single, or, or health I should say. The program is designed for anybody who wants to have a better relationship with food. You don't necessarily have to need to lose weight, but if you are somebody who is constantly thinking about food, constantly planning your next meal, or is constantly stressed out by food, this program is for you because it starts to teach you how to deal with those kind of issues. Now I will tell you, I am probably not Elizabeth Benton's like target audience because legitimately I lost 75 pounds prior to discovering her podcast and the fat loss fast track. And when I lost that weight, I actually lost a lot of my eating issues. I no longer really obsess about food. I don't punish myself anymore when I don't necessarily make the wisest choice. I did, oh goodness, if I could even go into the hate I had inside way back when before I lost weight. Um, I total disgust with myself, but now I really don't have that. So I literally, I lost those when I lost the weight because I realized that one cookie is not going to make or break my diet. And in truth, you know, while on the fat loss fast track, I did have a run in with Girl Scout cookies. And even then it didn't really impact my weight loss. I was probably one of the smaller weight losses. I, I lost nine and a half pounds over the 12 weeks. But again, my goal, if I had lost five pounds, I would have been ecstatic because I had been, I've been trying to lose the last 25 pounds for years. I, I mean, almost two full years I've been trying to lose the last 25 pounds and I was staying at the constant weight. And it just was a solid, like two up, two down, two up, two down, two up, two down. That's just my normal weight cycle. So if I had lost any, I was going to be ecstatic. So coming out of it, will I go into the veterans group? Not right now. And the reason is 100% financial. We are on our financial journey and that is one of our top goals. And while my weight loss is important, I cannot legitimately cannot justify spending more money on it right now. But I have every intention of going back to it 
as soon as we are 100% out of debt. Have I changed any of my behaviors because of the program? Yes, absolutely. Probably the biggest change for me is that now I view every single thing that I put in my mouth as having an impact on my, my goals. That's huge for me because previously, one of my big justifications throughout my life has always been, it's just one cookie, it's just one this, it's just one that. But one here, one there, one in every scenario, they have an impact. And so now after going through the fat loss fast track, I now look at every single food item as having an impact on my body. For example, in, I don't even remember, weeks three or four, I completely was off sugar, completely off sugar. And I realized fairly quickly that sugar causes sugar cravings. If I ate sugar, it caused me to have sugar cravings. And those cravings are hard to get off of. I mean, really legitimately hard. So I view every single thing as having an impact. So if I eat sugar, I know that's gonna cause cravings. It's gonna cause me to want more sugar. So do I say no to sugary items more often because I know that the two days after eating all that sugar is going to be so hard? Absolutely, 100%. So anyway, I don't think that I'm not going to be talking about weight loss because it's still going to be in my head. I'm still going to listen to the Primal Potential podcast three days a week. And she has her daily motivations podcast that I also listen to. I'm going to be reviewing everything, trying to practice, get the good behavior. So don't think you're not going to be seeing weight loss stuff on my channel because you are. So those of you who are depending on me, to keep you motivated don't worry that is my goal to keep going and so make sure you click on my big laugh and face to subscribe to my channel and i'm gonna put two videos up to keep on watching and i'll see you in the next one see ya